It's MCR, we in the car, and we about to go far, baby. We are about to go 194 miles. It's gonna take two hours and 55 minutes. MCR, for those of you who don't know, I just made this up, baby. MCR stands for Medical Courier Rome, baby. So for those of you who don't know what a medical carrier is, stay tuned to the full video, because I'm gonna explain everything to you guys. And we have to go to Pierre, Illinois, and go pick up this thing, and then we gotta go to another place and pick up something else. And then we have to drive back and drop it off at the lab so we can get this bag. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you are subscribed, smash that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and do not skip those ads. We about to hit the highway to get to this bag. Let's go. So guys, we've been riding around and I'm getting it. I'm riding around and I'm getting it. I'm riding around and I'm getting it. It's mine, I spent it. It's mine, I spent it. It's my, who's singing that song? Comment below and let me know who's singing that song. MCR, we in the car. We already getting busy. We do have one hour left until we get to the location for those who hate. And don't debate, we skate. We skate through this joint. And so far, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna give you guys a midpoint, you know how I'm feeling right now. Honestly, guys, this drive is pretty decent. It's not a bad drive because it's not like you're taking a highway with a lot of traffic. It's like it's smooth, you chilling, it's a two lane, you get a little traffic a little bit from the semis and all that. And other than that, man, I've been we've just been cruising, baby. We've been cruising, chilling, talking, just relaxing. And Use so the far right lane to take exit 41 onto shh, Illinois Route 18 shh, toward Henry. So tell them where we're going. Shh. So and so far I'm gonna say it's been going pretty well. Now, we first got we first started getting busy. Um, we did have to go through a little bit more traffic when we was going through the Chicago area a little bit. But after that, we've been cruising. Take the exit. Smooth then as a cruise boat float while we driving. Riding right around in the Corolla, acting a fool, doing what we do. But, um, just stay tuned to the full video because Next stop I will. Sign, turn right. Y'all keep on here. Just keep on trying to interrupt me, man. Hey, shut up. I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say it. No more. Stop Put sign. Right. Turn right onto East IL 18 toward Henry. Said you play with me, girl. But look at this car, look at this car. They just sitting right there. But back to what I was saying. Before I was really hold on, wait, she about to talk again. I already know. Let's see, hold on. In 6.5 miles, turn left onto State Route 89. Look, look at this. Turn look at this. Look at this. This is what we riding around to get today, baby. Look at the field. You just riding around here chilling. You know what I'm talking about? But Make sure you stand through to the full video and do not skip those ads. We're gonna continue to get to this bag. Guess what? Stay tuned because we will be revealing everything. We're gonna tell you how much we made doing this doing this route. We're gonna tell you what MC, what what a uh, medical carrier is, what do we do, how do we do it. And just so you guys know, I cannot take you into, into these buildings, but I'm going to pick up what I'm going to pick up because it's actually illegal for me to do so. So I'm gonna talk around it and everything, but I'm gonna to explain to you everything. I'm gonna tell you how we got into it. I'm gonna tell you everything, baby. So make sure you spend subscribing. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and do not skip those ads. We gonna keep on riding around and cruising so we can get to this bag. Let's go. We are here in Peoria, Illinois, baby. We're here to pick up the package, baby. I gotta put the package in this bag. I cannot show you guys what it is. I'm gonna say, just, just stay tuned, baby. So, I'm about to go ahead and get this package, and I'll be back out soon. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Make sure you smash the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and do not skip those ads. I'm about to go ahead and get this package. So, I'm gonna get this bag, baby. Let's go. From up and down's what I've been through. I'm trying to pop like a pimple. I forgot my mask, guys. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me, man. I forgot my mask. You gotta wear the mask in the hospital. Let's go. Got that bag, baby. You got that bag, baby. That germ right there. Don't worry about what's in there. Just know. It's some G14 classifier. Now, now we are on our way to the next pickup, baby. So I'm gonna tell you guys how I went when I, when I went in there. It wasn't that bad. I had no idea what, what I really was doing. So I went in there, I had to go to whatever floor I had to go to. I had to tell them I'm here for this and then they took me to this room. I had to wait a little bit. Well, not a room, it was like where patients was walking around and stuff too. Waited a little bit and then, hold on. Put some that on. Waited a little bit and then they gave me this bag. I had to sign this paper and then pretty much they gave me the bag. I put it in that, where well, they put it in that bag and I, I got that bag. If we about to get some more bags, I just came down here and now I'm here, baby. 
Uh, for my first time, it was actually pretty simple. I still kind of got to figure out like where to go and everything because I don't know what I'm doing. Then I got kind of lost because um, instead of the, the first, when you come down the elevator, right? Instead of you going to first floor, you had to go to second floor. Second floor is the main floor, which is that floor. And the first floor is under that. So it was a little, you know, a little, little razzle dazzle. Now we have to go to the next pickup and keep on moving and grooving. And I'm gonna put this stuff in one bag. And then we're gonna go. Let's go. So we are on our way to the second pickup, baby. With no hiccups, baby. We're trying to get this money and the ladies, well, what, the guy, our trainer, that trained us yesterday, whatever day that was, whatever day he trained us, the trainer, he told us that it used to sometimes be a little problem at this pickup, so I don't know, baby. But either way, go, we're, about to, go, we're about to get this dope. I'm going to tell you guys how we got started into this. Now, so, when we was doing gig work, and I told you guys previously that we was looking for other ways to make some money. Now, I, I stumbled across this, I found this on YouTube, and a dude broke down everything, oh, you do this, do this, do this. So, I did that. I went on Craigslist. You can do this too. Wherever area you may be in. I went on Craigslist and type in medical carrier. It popped up. Now they had some in Chicago that I didn't want to go that far. Then they had some in Libertyville, which was a little bit closer to us. So I clicked it, then it said reply. I replied, I emailed the dude, said, yeah, my name is, it asked my name and my phone number. Then like a day later, he called me. Then he told me the whole setup. Now, for this route that we're doing right now, we're going to receive $240 with a holler we popping our collar. I know it's not the greatest thing, but it's a little bit different in gig work because you don't have to do all these stops. You just gotta drive to one place or a couple places, pick this stuff up, and then take it back to the lab. Now, the stuff that we're picking up is specimens. The specimens that we're picking up is for people to get tested for cancer. So that's what that's what it is. That's what you go in there and pick up. You gotta go to the hospital, get it, and then you gotta take it to the lab. So that's what you can do. That's pretty much what you're doing. So not only are you making money, you're kind of helping these people off so they can find out their results and everything. Now they do have different routes on different days. They just happen to give us this route on this Monday because I don't know. But they have another one that goes to Indianapolis that's further, but you get paid more than you get paid 280 for that one. Y'all heard the ching ching, baby. It was on offer up or something. That was, that's, you know, but that, that was perfect. That's perfect. Perfect timing while we on the grind and spending our timing. But they do have one to go to Indianapolis. Am I going to do that one? I don't know. Am I going to continue to do this? I don't know. So far, it has been decent, but. You do have to drive pretty far, man. And it's, it's far, you're only gonna make $240. But how I think about it is, it's gonna take you six hours, six hours and like six and a half hours to do this. But I could have been doing all the way sparked up and it probably would've took me the same amount of time. But you are putting more miles in your car too, so you gotta think about that too. We gonna, we gonna put about 400 miles today. But it's, it's, it's smoother, man. You just go there, get the thing, and then take it to the lab and get this bag. So comment below and let me know if you think this is good or not. If you want to try it, if you have any questions about anything, I'm going to help you guys as much as I can to show you how I did it. It's really nothing to it. They called me, and it's a little app they got. It's called Will. It's called, I forgot what it's called. They got a little app that's going to tell you when the order's coming and all that stuff. And then they usually call you a dispatcher. Well, the person who helped us, he called me and told me, do you what guys want to do this? And then we said, we might as well try it. I told you guys before. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not a person who likes to do all this driving. I'm like long drive and all that ain't damn my thing. But you have to get good at the things you don't like. So you gotta try something new and switch it up sometime, baby. I may love it, you never know. But either way, go, we gonna get this dough. We go, let's go. I'll see you guys when we get to the hot pits home. Y'all heard the rhyme. We gonna tie me on the garage at the end of time. Let's go. Shoes from up and downs, what I've been through. I'm trying to pop like a pimple. Keeping my eye better, watch do. Keeping my eye better, watch do. Guess what, guys? We just pulled up and we ran into a problem. We're not supposed to be here. We can't pick it up until five. They're very time sensitive on certain stuff with certain places. That's what the guy told us yesterday. And in the special instructions, it says pick up at 5 p.m. It is now 3.55. So what are we supposed to do for an hour? If that's the case, why would, not, why would I have went to the other one so early if it's only 45 minutes away? It really doesn't make any sense. Comment below and let me know if I'm tweaking it or if I'm not. We might gotta do some DoorDash or something. I don't know. But either way, go. I ain't gonna lie. This guy's kind of bothering me a little bit. Because guess what? At 5 p.m., guess what else happened? Traffic. Traffic. Looking for my chapstick. That happens too. So, I don't know, man. I ain't really feeling this whole this whole 5 p.m. thing on this. So, I called my contact, and he said that the order possibly could be ready early. But I don't know. 
So this one actually has a lockbox. Some of the places has lockbox, and some people you going sometimes you're gonna meet actual people there. So he said, check the lock lockbox, and if the stuff is in the lockbox, then we're good to go. And if not, we gotta wait till five o'clock. It is now 4:13. We had to go at this little gas station, and we couldn't do no DoorDash orders or anything because we in the middle of nowhere, baby. It ain't nothing around. It's one gas station and a a, um, a credit union, and that's it. Nothing else. Oh, oh, wait, wait, hold on. A car wash. That's it. That's it. Everything else gone, baby. But I'm about to pull up right now, and we about to get busy. I don't know where I'm going, guys, so pardon me, baby. So, guys, we are on our way back home. I went in there, and it was a disaster. So, first off, I did have to wait until 4.51, like 4.51, 4.52 for them to let me, allow me to come in. Then, this one was completely different than the other one. So, when I went in there, I had to count. I had to look at, it's a whole bag full of specimens. It's probably, I don't know. It's a whole page full and the back of that page of, of these uh, orders. So, when I go in there, you got an initial and date. I didn't even know there's nothing about this. Because guess what? I wasn't trained properly because they should have trained us and took us exactly where we went today instead of taking us somewhere else so I know exactly what I'm doing. Now I'm in there, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I gotta ask the ladies in there, like, what do I need to do this or what? They don't really know. So, you do have to initial and put the time you picked up the specimen on there. Now it's probably 20 to 22 of them, right? But you also have to look at how many they said it was in there, like how many jars. If they said there were four jars in there, you gotta make sure it is four jars, so you gotta count each jar. It was a disaster, did <laughs> dig as well. After that, after I had crammed all these things in this little bag they got, they gave, they give you, after I crammed all the stuff in there, I tried to push it down a little bit in the bag rip. So now I gotta stop him again and ask for a bag. I ain't had no pen. It was just, it was just all bad, baby. Everything was all bad. After we got out there, we got some gas. Um, and now we're on our way back, and it's gonna take two hours and ten minutes now. Went out there and got that bag. So now what I gotta do is, after you're done with everything, first off, the delivery, I had to go up there and, okay, let me slow down. Okay, once you get everything, you get back to the lab, you take the uh, the specimens up to the lab. Now, my guy Chris, who helped, who uh, trained us, he told us to knock on the door. I knocked on the door a few times, nobody ever answered. I, saw, I see the people in there, I can see them in there, they're doing what they dang, but they ain't never answered. So now I had a little trouble with doing the paperwork because one of the places that you pick up the specimens from was not listed on the paperwork. So, I had to call my guy Chris. Chris told me to just write it on the bottom. So you write it on the bottom and you write how many. I, and guess what, I messed up because I didn't know how many specimens was in the bag because I, add, because I didn't add them up when I went to the hospital to pick them up because I, I was, it was just too much going on, baby. I didn't know what I was doing, baby. It's the first time we learned it, baby. We learned it and then we earned it. We getting this cheese, but one more thing. So after you're done with the delivery, you gotta sign, baby. You got a sign, baby. Yeah, you got a sign, baby. You got to sign that joint. Press done on that. Sign for that joint. Done. And that is it. Clear. Okay. So, let's talk about it, baby. We about to get a bitch. I'm ready to go home. Look, look at the time. It is 7, 737. 737, three of them, 737. 737, three of them, it's 737 right now, baby. Guess what? We've been moving and grooving. We left. Um, at like 8.30. So it's been an 11 hour day. We've been getting busy, but we back home to get it on. You know what I'm talking about? Um, all in all, do I like it? Do I think it's worth it? I, honestly, it's not that bad. The drive was pretty good, and I, we flew through traffic, flew through traffic. Oh, one more thing. I found out from my guy, Chris. So I was I was talking to him on the phone. I'm like, I, the only part of my hat was when we went to the second one. He was like, I was like, so why don't they just have us go there at, or go to the first one at four o'clock and then get to the second one at five o'clock? He said because 50% of the time they might be done already at four. So you really don't know. It's just hit or miss. But what I would do, I would take a mental note and start catch on to their patterns of how they're doing stuff. But it may be different, so I don't know. But all in all, I think that today went pretty well. Um, I do think that you guys should try it if you're into uh, taking long drives. If you, if you want to chill, bang, you submit it. Bang you some music, listen to a podcast or something. 
and you don't mind driving, I don't think it's bad. All in all, it went pretty well. We made 240 from this, and then we made like 20 some dollars from DoorDash. So today was today was a good day. Oh, uh, they went pretty smooth. Um, would I do it again? Probably so. It just depends. I have to get used to it, baby. It wasn't that bad. The drive was actually pretty decent. I ain't even gonna lie. The drive is decent. It just depends on how you want to calculate. Do you want to calculate hours or do you want to calculate miles? It just depends on you how you do things. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You finally got to see what the new thing was about. Make sure you lock it tomorrow. It's going back down. We still ain't playing around, baby. 2022 is still bag season. We're going to keep on giving them a reason. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know in the DDK, and I'm on my way.